All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x is equal to three to the power of x. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by writing two to the power of x is equal to three to the power of x. And I'm going to take the log of base 2 on both sides. So now I have log base 2 of 2 to the power of x is equal to log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. Now if I have something in the form log base a of a, this is simply equal to 1. So as you see here, we have log base 2 of 2. And actually before I cancel these two out, if I have something in the form log base a of to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have x as my exponent, so I can move this to the front. So now I have x times log base 2 of 2 is equal to, I'm going to do the same thing over here, log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. I can move x to the front here. So now I have this is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now remember, if I have something in the form log base a of a, this is equal to 1. So log base 2 of 2 to cancel out so I get simply left with x times 1 is equal to x times log base 2 of 3 and x times 1 is simply x so I get x is equal to x times log base 2 of 3 now I'm going to subtract both sides by x base log sorry x log base 2 of 3 So these two cancel out, I get x minus x times log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out x, I get x times 1 minus log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. And if I divide both sides by 1 minus log base 2 of 3, these two cancel out and I'm left with x is equal to 0. All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of three plus a squared equals 36. So to actually find all solutions to this problem, I need to first start by finding one solution. So to do that, I'm just gonna plug in some numbers and see if they work. So let's try one. If we plug in one, we get two is equal to 36, which is wrong. If we plug in two, we get eight plus four, which is 12 equals 36, which is wrong. If we plug in three, we get 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. 27 plus 3 squared is 9. 36 equals 36. So a equals 3. This is one solution of a. And now that we found one solution of a, we can use this later. So, let's, so we can use this by making a to the power of 3 plus a squared equal 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 squared because we know that a equals 3. So I'm just plugging in 3 and making them equal to each other. So now I'm going to subtract 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 squared on both sides. So these two cancel out. I get a to the power of 3 plus a squared minus 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 squared minus 3 squared, sorry. is equal to 0. Now I can rewrite this to be in the form a minus 3 times a squared plus 3 squared plus three a plus a plus 3 is equal to 0. 
and this simplifies to a minus 3 times a squared plus 12 plus 49 sorry plus 4a is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have a minus 3 is equal to 0, and I have a squared plus 4a plus 12 is equal to 0. So for a minus 3 equals 0, a obviously equals 3, so this is one solution of a. And for a squared plus 4a plus 12 equals 0, you have to use the quadratic formula to solve this, and I'm not going to waste your time by doing that. But if you do end up using it, you get that there is no solution because you get the square root of negative number. So now that we know that a equals 3, remember how... This is actually going to be our only solution because this doesn't work. So a equals 3 is our only solution. All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of x is equal to 80. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 80 here as 8 times 10. So now I have a to the power of x is equal to 8 times 10. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So now I have a to the power of x over 8 is equal to 10. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So a to the power of x over a to the power of 1, that's going to equal a to the power of x minus 1, which is equal to 10. Now, 8 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1. That's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x minus 1, which is equal to 10. And I can distribute the 3, so I'll get 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 is equal to 10. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I'll get log 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 is equal to log 10. And log 10 is equal to 1. So I get 1 is equal to 3x minus 3 times log 2, because I can move this to the front. And now if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I get 3x minus 3 is equal to 1 over log 2. And now I can add 3 on both sides. So I get 3x is equal to 1 over log 2 plus 3. And if I divide both sides by 3, I get x is equal to 1 over 3 log 2 plus 1. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 20 as 19 plus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 19 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 19 plus 1. And this is going to equal 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now from here, if I factor out 2 to the power of 19 from my left-hand side, I get 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 is equal to 16 to the power of x. And 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, that's simply equal to 1. And anything times 1 is itself. So I have 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, 16 
that's the same thing as two to the power of four. So now I have two to the power of 19 is equal to two to the power of four to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So two to the power of four to the power of x, that's gonna equal two to the power of four times x, which is also two to the power of four x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 19 is equal to 4x. Now we have a simple equation here. All I have to do is divide both sides by 4, and I get x is equal to 19 over 4. Now, to check... My original equation was 2 to the power of 20 minus 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 20 minus 2 to the power of 19, we already know that's 2 to the power of 19. So we get 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of 19 over 4. Now 16, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 19 over 4. And these two 4s cancel out, so I get 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 2 to the power of 19.